guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some life changing um, feminine hygiene tips that I learned over, I would say over the course of a year, about a year. I have tried out so many different things and none of them have worked as good as this routine. So I wanted to share it with you guys today. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into my favorite hygiene products. Okay, so I have my phone here because I have some notes on my phone. So if you see me looking down occasionally, that's because I'm looking at my notes. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing I wanted to mention is that these are just my life-changing tips. It doesn't mean that it's for everyone or that this routine will work for everyone, but I just like to share with you guys what has worked for me so that you can possibly try it out and see what happens on your end. But for my, from my experience, a lot of trial and error from my experience so I really do stand by these products and I think they're very useful so let's go ahead and get right into it so the first thing I wanted to mention was this company here this is called the honey pot company and it's their boric acid and herbs suppository so this is what it is these are basically made for if you have a um, issue with BV, which is bacteria vaginosis. Um, if you're not familiar with bacteria, bacterial vaginosis, then you're probably very lucky. But most women um, encounter it at least once throughout their um, adulthood. And if you're not a person who has encountered BV, then you probably have encountered like yeast infections. So this is basically a suppository to help balance yeast and any type of bacterial um, that is in the vagina area. So hopefully YouTube doesn't flag my video. They do every single time I do one of these videos, but let's hope that they don't because we're just trying to help each other out here. So this, in my opinion, has been one of the best. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and say this is the best boric acid I've ever tried because the other ones I have side effects with or I find that they have a lot of chemicals in them and I don't really like that. The owner of, or the CEO of this company writes on this packaging that she was suffering from bacterial, it says, I was suffering from bacteria vaginosis for eight months when an ancestor came to me in a dream and gifted, and gifted me with a vision to help to heal myself. With her help, I created the Honey Pop Company to solve for what other brands wouldn't through the power of herbs. So you know I was sold at that. I love her story. I love the way that she um, delivers her products. It's very, you know, well perceived. Her packaging is very simple. Um, and what is in here? She has shea butter. She has neem, tea tree oil, marshmallow extract. I'm not gonna read the entire ingredient list because I don't really like doing that. But this is a really, really jam packed formula i can just tell the herbs are actually at the um, top of the ingredient list more at the top of course you have um, the main ingredient being boric acid but the herbs are actually at the top so love that and i actually noticed for you guys um who are probably wondering a lot of companies do use these type of ingredients in their um boric acid especially after the honey pot has gained a lot of attention. You guys actually told me about this company. I knew nothing about it at first. Um, and a lot of people kept asking me, what do you think about honey pot? What's, what do you think about honey pot? And I finally checked it out and I was like, oh, okay. Now I see why a lot of people like this and why you guys were re recommending it to me. But I see a lot of companies that have like similar ingredients. Um, I guess trying to like create a, replica or trying to do like a product that's kind of like this and guys it, it doesn't it's not the same just get the honey pot <laughs> when you are looking for boric acids um and especially if you have had a really good results with herbs in the past because the fact that people try to like recreate this it's not gonna work <laughs> because her formula is unique um oh one thing 
I'm gonna fill you, in, you guys in on something, something that my formulator actually um, explained to me. Um, someone can recreate and put the same type of ingredients in their product all they want, or try to put like a lot of herbs in their product all they want. It's not, it's about the ingredients, but it's also about the formula, which is why when, um, companies have these type of products they have to go to like a chemist or a formulator of course she came up with the recipe um and some people had that type of ability to just come up with the recipe and then tell the formulator i do that all the time but um you also have to have a certain amount of this a certain amount of that a certain amount of this a certain amount of that so even if companies are trying to like create like boric acid and do the exact same thing sort of i found that because i did try one that had like um olive vera in it tea tree and stuff like that i just found that it still doesn't work as good and if not it was horrible i would mention the brand that i'm talking about that i actually had the worst experience with but i'm not going to mention it i'm just going to say i recommend honey pot 100 it helped with um balancing out my hormones and balancing out everything and i highly recommend that it's life-changing you guys know that things can really knock off your ph when it comes to your vagina area and let me read to you what she recommends for how to use it so she says to use it after sex because it says that semen has a ph of 7.1 to 8 which can sometimes throw you out of balance it also says at the end of your cycle because your ph tends to be around 7.4 which can also throw your ph out of balance and create environment for either a yeast infection or for an, a different type of infection to come along um, most of the time bacterial vaginosis and also if you have an issue with hormonal imbalances so the next product i wanted to mention is from the same company but all of these products are not going to be from honey pot so um but like i said i'm a really big fan of this company so this is the honey pot company sensitive foaming wash so you guys know um if you've been watching my channel for a while i mentioned that i do not use soaps down there because soaps tend to throw off your ph as well a lot of people don't know that um i used to be able to use soaps down there when i was younger but i don't know it seems like as i'm getting older um and changing my lifestyle and all this stuff a lot of things that used to work no longer work which is okay because your body is always changing and developing and um yeah so you have to honor the changes and just go with the flow and if your body can no longer handle certain things then it just means that it's time for a change so this right here is the foam wash and it comes out like this i'll put a little bit just to show you guys so it comes out just like foam so it is definitely just a foam wash it doesn't sud or anything because it's not supposed to um, and with this exactly like her boric acid it has all types of um, herbs in it um, which is what drew me in because at first I tried out this product um, and then I tried out this product because I like the ingredient list and I also like the way that she put every single thing that you would think want and wonder on the on the label but in a simple way so what I mean by that was it says it's 100 natural um keeps the ph between 3.5 and 4.4 uh, 4.5 and it also is cruelty free and sulfate free so um has no parrots parabens or anything like that and it also is a plant-based um wash so you don't have to worry about anything you know crazy so i highly recommend that even if you don't get the honey pot that you try to get washes that are made for the vagina not just soap or not just something that is just not really made for down there and then put it down there um even when i went to the doctor um the obgyn a long time ago of course because <laughs> my daughter is very much older now but i remember my doctor told me that using soaps that are not made for the vagina down there can actually really really affect your ph 
And at the time I was just like, what is she talking about? Like how else am I gonna get clean down there? And I didn't really listen to what she said and I just thought she was really weird for telling me not to use soap down there. Um, but then after I started to get more into my holistic lifestyle years later, I started to read up and study a lot of things and I realized that she was actually correct. You do not want to use soaps down there and it would have saved me a lot of time and money to have listened to her. But like I said, a lot of times when people say no soaps down there, people are like, ew, that's disgusting. Um, no, it's actually not disgusting. It's disgusting to put perfumes and fragrances down on your vagina. So. Okay, so I found this product on Amazon and this is more for if you you are shaving and you know after shaving you're um, you're supposed to apply like an oil so I was using coconut oil for the longest time but I found this oil that's made um, exactly for what I was using the coconut oil for so I decided to pick this up and this is the Bona Dia Naturals I believe I'm saying that right but if I'm not then I'll have everything linked down in the description box this is a balancing oil blend um, and it's made for after shaving, soothing the skin, things like that. So it says on here, um, apply as needed to any types of odors or to moisturize and soothe the skin after shaving, which is what I use it for, for moisturizing and soothing after, after shaving. Um, and it's for external use only. And this has a lot of beneficial oils in it and flowers as well. Calendula flower in here, echinacea, vitamin E, tea tree oil, and it also has some citru citrus um, oils in it as well, two different citrus oils in it as well. So I really like this. Um, it does smell really good. It has like a, it has more of like a lemony smell, like a citrus smell, but it feels really good on the skin. It does soothe. It does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. If you don't want to get that, you can just use coconut oil like I was doing in the beginning. Like I said, using some type of oil after you finish shaving definitely helps with your shave bumps and for it not to just be looking nasty. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I wanted to mention was probiotics. I found a probiotic brand that is so amazing it's so beneficial and i have to share it with you guys today and i will have it over here over here um, i don't have it with me and i'll tell you guys why so this is the mary ruth organic probiotics um i've used so many probiotics in the past like <laughs> i even went to an herbalist to get um, probiotics made especially for me I have bought probiotics from different types of brands and Whole Foods, but this is the one that actually has made a difference and I actually noticed a difference when using them. I got this on Amazon, just searching one day. I just was finding that a lot of the probiotics that I was getting in the store weren't working for me. And so I decided to do some research and I came across this probiotic. So this is a vegan probiotic. Um, made for women and it is plant-based it has immune booster has biotin for the hair but of course I don't really take it for that um, it also is good for skin and nail health um, like I said I never really paid attention to if that is really true because I solely just was using it for um, the stomach area and for um, keeping everything balanced and stuff like that. Like I said, this is the best that I've ever tried. It says that it's a potent blend as well. So it tells you special instructions on how to take it. But I just found that I take it just like any other by um, probiotic and it works just fine. But only thing I don't like is that I can't just like go to the store and get this, but it's fine because I order it on Amazon um, and not every good and <laughs> good product is going to be in the store so I'm okay with going ahead and buying it on Amazon but I found that this really helped with keeping my um, digestive system system on track I um, also found that when I was taking them um, I didn't have to worry about any type of vagina issues or anything like that it just kept me really balanced and really loved it love this product I stopped using this product for two months just to see because that's just like how I am. I'm like, 
okay, I'm just gonna stop using this product. So I stopped using the product for two months um, because I thought, okay, you know, I've been using it. I've been using it for a while. So now I don't need to use it anymore. And I noticed a difference within weeks of not using the product. So I do recommend to continuously use this product at least for like a year. Um, you wanna take pro probiotics a lot. Um, anyways, you don't want to just not take probiotics. I find that my, in my opinion, I find that my health's a lot better when I'm taking probiotics. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to mention was the toilet paper that you're using. <laughs> that sounds so weird to say that toilet paper has anything to do with your vagina health, but it has a lot to do with it. So let me explain. Toilet paper I found out this year. Yeah, I've been on this holistic lifestyle journey for a very long time and I'm just now finding out more about toilet paper so I always knew that toilet paper had like um, kind of like bad ingredients not kind of but bad ingredients on them especially like the bigger brands that are widely sold um, but I just felt like oh well it doesn't affect me so I didn't really change it and I always felt that the um, the recyclable brand toilet paper was super thin and it just didn't make sense to buy that so here recently i decided that i was going to switch it up and switch to just to see if it made a difference and switch to a toilet paper brand that was actually um recyclable using all natural toilet paper and it made a difference right away so i highly recommend that you use all natural toilet paper um, you are rubbing that down there and it is like I said the most absorbent so you are absorbing whatever is on that toilet paper um, a lot of bigger brands and brands that are that we're used to using that we've been using forever actually put chlorine on their toilet paper they put um, a lot of chemicals on the toilet paper, a lot of softeners, a lot of things that are not supposed to be down there, they put on the toilet paper. So, so doing all of those things, using the honeypot um, suppositories, using the honeypot wash, using the probiotics, and using the toilet paper, um, all natural toilet paper, made a difference in my vagina health and that's what I wanted to share with you guys today so I also want to mention when you're using um, your rags um, I have I have gotten um, hemp seed rags before so uh, rags that are made from hemp seeds once I move I'm going to get like a whole thing of hemp seed rags um, they're very expensive I think I paid <laughs> I think I paid $11 for one rag um, and I think I'm going to get a whole collection because I'm pretty sure I can find like them in a pack. Um, just the lady that I bought them from, they were super expensive because I feel I think that she actually made them herself. So eleven dollars is what I paid for that. But I'm thinking I'm gonna get a whole entire like collection of the hemp seed rags. And when I find a brand that's really good, I'm gonna share it on my YouTube channel. So some of you who are interested can know. So if you can get 100% cotton all white rags and um, not get like the ones that are have that have a lot of dyes and things on them it will do a lot better down there trust me you don't want those type of things down there as well so yeah guys that was what i wanted to talk to you guys about i hope that you guys um take some of these tips and possibly use them for yourself if you have any of these tips already um under the belt you already know all about this then leave some comments down below leave some comments down below if you just have anything that you want to share so that this can be like a open video and we can just like talk through um in the comment section also, you guys are the ones who turned me on to Honey Pot. So like I said, I'm always in the comment section looking at the comments um, and trying to respond back to as many people as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, also want to mention that I am going to be mentioning and announcing a huge, huge release soon. Um, I'm going to be very excited to announce this. So you guys stay tuned for that. And let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.